What is going on, Toycanic fans? It's been a minute. Needed to knock the dust off the old Toycanic lab over here. Um, I'm looking into getting into more live streams in 2024. Uh, today, I've got a pretty special one, actually. Um, so this is a Gigan from Godzilla. As you can see, he's had a he's had a bad fight. Uh, he's got he's uh, his hip has dislocated. This is actually a pretty common issue. So I'm kind of happy about this one. I mean, I, I hate that it happened to, uh, to the client, but, um, it is a common issue with these import figures. So I, at least I get to show you guys how to do that. And the big, big problem is eesh, he can't fly anymore. I don't know if he could fly before. Can, can he fly? Are these wings or are they, maybe they're more fins. I'm not a Godzilla like aficionado. I like I know more about Kong. Sorry, but uh, anyways, uh, huge shout out to Luke. This is his figure. Um, he actually didn't break this. Um, he's a he's a young fan, uh, apparently a big Godzilla fan, and uh, also shout out to his sister Josie because apparently she's a huge YouTube fan as well. So that's to Luke and Josie. And uh, this is really cool. This is uh, this is for local people, uh, and that's really awesome. It's kind of a more rare one, you know. Every now and then I get a local repair, but uh, this comes from uh, their their mom brought me this. She's super smart, super awesome, super cool, and so uh, I just really appreciate that. And so we're gonna go ahead and get into this. All right. The first thing we're gonna do, like usual, is we're gonna first off we're gonna assess the issues. Um, the cool thing about these figures and don't freak out if <laughs> I'm pretty sure Luke and them are watching. So don't freak out. I'm going to pop off probably part of this tail here. If I can get it out of the way. Yeah. So here's the safe way to do it. Generally what you want to do is you want to take a flathead screwdriver. If you ever have to like dislocate any of these parts and you kind of carefully find that, that spot it, that's going to push this straight out just like that. And so you can see nothing's broke. It just pops out right here. So just in case you guys were wondering, and that'll make this a lot easier on me. Um, yeah, we need to get these little pegs out of the back as well. And I can show you the issue with the leg. Um, we'll keep the uh, hip piece off for right now. So what you can see here is like, you got a standard uh, barbell joint that plugs in here. And we'll just pretend that this is on right now. Okay. And this is really cool. Just, I, you know, I tend to ramble a bit, but I get, kind of blown away when I mess with figures that I don't own. I own a lot. I don't own this one. Uh, check this out. This is really cool. Like these things have like drop down hips almost like, cause I, when I first got it in, you know, I saw this right here and this thigh, I was like, man, that, that, that has no movement. I look over here. I was like, okay, it does have movement and that's really tight. You hear that squeak. Oh, well, it's good. Uh, anyways, so I got a hold of this and yeah, you can, you got to finagle it a little bit. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it to go down. There we go. So yeah, you push that down and then boom, I can go right in there. I was like, this is so much engineering and such a, such a chunky body. I mean, dude, his little, his little tendrils here move, the little, little clamps. I think his mouth, yeah, his mouth opens up. This is a really cool figure, man. I, I, and so, Luke, I'm going to get this uh, fixed for you, bud. Um, yeah, apparently it kind of got tossed to the side. <coughs> Pardon me. It got tossed to the side, and uh, all the wings got broken off, and uh, this leg came out, and it's just a mess. So back to, the, back to the issue. Pretend this hip is up here, this piece that we're looking at. So we're going to pop this in. This is how, you know, normally these work, correct? You know, you get a hold of it. And you pop it in and it's supposed to pop in and and move like this right this guy moves here no problem but when you try to move this one i mean i could just move it with my, just my finger pops out and that's not fun <laughs> that's not an action figure anymore that's a that's a problem so <clears throat> what we'll do here is i'm going to take my dremel and we're going to address the leg first and then we'll get to the wings um, I'm going to take out, I'm going to see what I got here as far as uh, my rounded burr bits. We're going to need to shave out a bit of that because what's happening is it's just not going in deep enough because you can tell 
when you do go to put that leg in, it's not making the pop sound. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Goodness. I had some crackers earlier and like <laughs> my throat is like dry. Um, let me see if I've got my bigger burbot just in case we're going to need it, which we do. All right, cool. All right. So let's see how, if this big one will fit in here. If this will fit in here comfortably, then I'll go for that. If not, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to shave it out too much because then we'd have a whole nother repair issue on our hands and we don't want that. All right. So we're going to use my medium, what I'd call the medium burr bit. Uh, this thing's only, <clears throat> I'd say probably maybe three to four millimeters wide. So we're going to take this, we're going to start off at about a five on the Dremel. So about mid speed on the Dremel stylus, of course, this isn't too powerful. And what I'm going to do is start it up. I'm going to go straight in just a little bit. Now keep in mind, this is really hard plastic. And I'm just going straight in because what it feels like is the depth isn't there. And then I'll slowly, slowly edge my way around like so. Okay. Go around the edges here, just on the inside. And you got to press pretty firmly on this because like I said, this plastic is really strong. <clears throat> These joints aren't really, they're not really meant to come out, you know? And so after we try that once, you can see I was pressing pretty hard. It's like pressing into my skin there. Let's give it a click and see if it'll work. Mm, it's in, but it's still that right there. You can see just what, what, like, I don't know. I don't know if I, tr yeah, see if I can move it side to side. So we're going to boost up the speed a little bit. Now this is just a factory issue right here. <clears throat> so nobody actually did anything wrong here except for the factories QC. Let's go a little higher here. So this plastic's pretty crazy. So we're going to have to pump up this friction to bring that heat up a little more. There we go. And we don't want to do too crazy. It's always better to do a little bit at a time instead of going too much, too far, and breaking it. And we don't want to do that. Also, by the way, what's up, Hank the Tank, Esteban, my man, Nacho. Gerwal, what's up, man? My newest uh, patron. Thank you for showing up, dude. And uh, as always, my partner in crime, Oreo Omega. What's going on, dude? Thanks for showing up. He says, everyone subscribe to the Toy Canics Discord. Please do if you if you want to you know, keep, keep in touch and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, appreciate it. I'm not a good promoter. <laughs> not a good self promoter, I guess I would say. All right, uh, let's see. That's better. I'm getting a slight pop when we put it in, but uh, I could still pull that out. So what I want to do here is just go a little deeper. <clears throat> you don't want to go you don't really want to go straight in with it. You kind of want to go in, but still round. See, I'm going around in a circular motion here. And I'm doing that. I'm doing that because as we're going in, like obviously we're inserting a sphere into a spherical cavity, right? So when we put that in, if we just go straight in, it might add a little dip at the top, but if we go rounding, you know, round it out a little bit, then it's going to smooth that out and essentially make a spherical hole on the inside. And that's what we want. So let's go ahead and, ooh, that sounded good. It's still coming out. It's popped in way better than it was before, but like I said, little at a time. Go around the edges a little bit. And this is usually what will happen is um, sometimes with these, somebody can get their piece back in. They'll twist it probably 80 to, you know, 80% 80 of the way. And all of a sudden it pops out at one uh, specific spot every time. And what's happening there is there's an anomaly inside of the plastic. So there's like some kind of bump, you know, there's a bump in there that's, that's knocking that sphere out. So 
we want to make sure we're getting a good solid pop there but it's still popping out so what I want to do is go up a little higher and go around Goodness, I'm gonna suck in some plastic there. Ugh. All right. See, so you're getting this too. It's like, oh, it's so good. That's that's very satisfying. That's what we want. Mm-hmm. I think we got it. Um, <clears throat> I do want to make sure that it is as tight. This one. This one's like kind of scary tight and I might need, I might actually, um, after the stream, I might actually pop this out and, and loosen this up just a bit so we can get a more buttery, smooth twist. Cause right now you see that like, when you see like something like this, see how it's bouncing back like that. That's not good. We don't want that. What we want is for this to go and stay there and not bounce back with that bounce back that it's given us. This right here is really, this was what makes me the most nervous is this isn't twisting. So what that's doing is it's holding that, <clears throat> basically the, the shaft of the peg. And here's our ball joint, right? So what it's doing is it's twisting this and then twisting that, that peg. We don't want that. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Okay. So yeah, so what we want is for the peg and, you know, the ball and the, uh, the this whole thing here, the whole ball and the peg to swivel at the same time and if it is you know like i said if you ever get these a little too loose which isn't a problem you can always put a little dab of some i recommend either the loctite super glue liquid for the like this kind of tightening right here or my uh, my personal favorite is uh missing <laughs> it's a uh, jb super weld which is right here so this stuff's really good you can find both of these at Walmart. This is generally in the plumbing section. You can also get them on Amazon, but all right. So I'm happy where the leg is right now. Let's get on to the, the, uh, the wings. Okay. So what I can tell from looking at these, oh man, you know what I, <laughs> what I didn't look up is how to ma make sure that I'm putting these into each, each one properly, which is looking like these fan out like so, and I bet this is perfectly straight that goes right here in the center. There we go. Okay, cool. Well, that wasn't too hard. <clears throat> yeah, so these just, okay, they follow the curvature of the spine here. All right, so this will be center, this will be righty and lefty. <clears throat> and what it looks like all we'll have to do here is we'll drill a small hole in here. After we uh, get these guys out, we'll, uh, Pop these out, drill a small hole in these, and we will secure them with our trusty eye hook screws. So this should be awesome. What's up, Dark G? Thanks for showing up, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to stream hopefully some more in 2024. I never stopped doing repairs. I, I said I was going to take a break, and I didn't. So that's on me. All right. So what I like to do in this situation, um, since these broke off, is I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing this the way I want to do it. Okay, so you can see where the stress mark broke on each one of these, the white, big white circles right here, right? Um, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll start off with a really small speed on, I want to say this is probably about a point. 0 0.6, 0 0.7 uh, millimeter drill bit. Um, these are not really meant to go into drills. They're meant for like finger drills. Uh, so I go through a lot of these. They can break you real easy. Um, you don't want them to break while you're in there. Um, if for some reason this was to break inside of one of these, I could still remove it. I can make a new peg, but hopefully we won't have to do that. Um, that's why I also go on a slow speed and uh, go real steady. So here we go. We're gonna drill in here. We're gonna stay right in the center. I bet Luke's just over there sweating, watching me like drill into his figure. He's like, please, like, mom, why did you give it to this 
this guy. That's one. That's two. And that is three. Okay. So that's not our final drilling, but what I want to see is uh, I will take, let me see if I can, got one of my smaller, let me grab one of my smaller eye hooks. Okay, so now I've got one of my smaller eye hooks. We're not going to actually use these, I don't think, uh, for the final repair. But what I do is, since I've got this smaller hole drilled now, let's get that excess plastic out of the way. We want to take this eye hook, right? And for those of you who aren't familiar with eye hooks, think about... Um, <clears throat> jewelry when it's like homemade or whatnot or maybe something that you saw like a event or something like that or even <clears throat> you could buy it like this but usually it's a piece of it's just an eye hook it's literally this circular rounded piece right here of steel that goes into threading like a screw and basically it can it's generally like drilled into like a like into the top of the charm and then you could put it on a necklace and then i found out uh God, years ago that if you straighten these guys out and whatnot, you can fix some of the tiniest joints uh, known to toy uh, manufacturers. So, pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> so now that I've got this drilled in, and what what's happening now is the uh, the peg is actually spinning. So this isn't going in any further. What I'm going to try to do is gently get a hold of this. I say gently, but honestly, we just want this thing out. There we go. Ooh, it's transparent plastic. Oh, no wonder this broke. Yuck. Luckily, this isn't like too anything too crazy. It's just like something that pops in and out. It's not like a arm joint or something like that. This <clears throat> translucent plastic has got to be one of the worst. I don't understand how that... I guess this whole thing's like painted under, I bet you this whole thing's made out of that same um, type of material. You can see like, man, j you can't touch it obviously, but I'm just holding this thing and I'm like, oh man, this is, this is so crazy. Oh man, you know what I'm noticing too right now is that it looks like two of his, uh, he's missing two of his little, his little bone pieces right here, his little deals. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll re-sculpt some of those and we can paint those on for them. What I can do is, uh, yeah, I can, I can re-sculpt these two. Dang, I wonder if there's any more missing. These really got messed up. Looks like we're missing these two. Okay, just looks like just those two. And that's not a hard thing to sculpt on. It's just a rounded, sharp end piece. Um, if we have time by the end of this, I can show you how we how we do that dang that's a bummer god this thing really this is like this is battle damaged geigen right here um okay so this is our this came out of our right wing <laughs> this isn't a political ad that was <laughs> our right wing over here so oh yeah this is our busted wing okay so the right wing has really taken the worst of it all i think let me make sure this is the right yeah yep yeah, this is our right Okay, so we're going to keep the pegs with the proper wing. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab two more of these uh, tiny eye hooks. Because it's nice to have something that holds on to those, those pegs, you know? Um, because they're very small and they can go flying and things tend to get lost on the floor. So we don't want that. So now we're going to take peg number two. Use our eye hook screw here. Let's do one of these. <laughs> Put this in and take this. There's our center center wing. 
That's where politics should be. <laughs> Sorry. And then we're going to go over here for the left. And these are popping out pretty easy, so that's good. Um, they haven't really given me any trouble. Um, so I'm hoping that this plastic also deals with adhesive well. You know, sometimes some plastics won't really adhere well. But also, so I was really proud <laughs> of her for, uh, uh, of the mother for giving me this before she decided to try to glue it. She said she got some glue. She said she was thinking about it. And she's like, wait a minute. I know a guy that I think repairs figures around town, which I thought was really cool. And uh, so instead, she put everything in a Ziploc bag like a brilliant person does and brought it to me. So nothing got lost. It's very cool. It's just, it's just funny. Like somebody who's like not familiar with the toy world, really. And I, I've dealt with like a couple of uh, mother clients and they always are just, they're, <laughs> they're just smart. <laughs> they, they're smart. They know how to ship a figure and it's like, everything's like in, in Ziploc bags. Generally, I guess because, you know, I don't know. I don't know if, if moms still are still make lunches and whatnot, but, uh, you know, I'm a Ziploc bag fanatic and it just, j you just know moms know how to take care of their kids whenever they're sending figures to a stranger to have them repaired in that trust. And they're like, you know, thanks so much. A little note in there for me. And I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> okay. Oh, you're welcome. Anyways, I think it's cool. It's really special. Um, all right. So now that we've got these pegs out, let's put them in the wings, right? So let's start with, what do we got here? Is this the, this is the left boy. Um, and yeah, it looks like these little pieces kind of come out too. I guess they go in and out the little, uh, housings. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's, uh, take this eye hook out. And so I tried not to go in too deep whenever I'm in there because you never know what's going to happen when you drill all the way through, especially into something like this. And, you know, I could drill in and, you know, hit the if there was something in there. So I always try to be careful, try to drill in just enough to where I can insert the screw to pull this out. OK, <clears throat> so what I do is I'll take these guys, my wire pliers, wire pliers. And you'll notice they've got that little. A little notch right there. That's my favorite. These are my favorite for dealing with ball pegs like this. Because if you try to do this with regular needle nose pliers like these without the notch in them, these things fly out. And then all of a sudden, you know, somehow they end up at like your second cousin's house in Missouri somehow because that's how it works. So let's go ahead and hold this. We're going to go back in with our smaller drill bit first. We're going to try to keep it in the center like we did a minute ago. We're going to just follow the path that we started. And we'll go all the way out. And then we're going to turn this around. I'm going to try to push this up just a little bit. And the reason like I like starting out right here at the bottom of it, because this is the part that's going to connect to the wing, <clears throat> which means we want that as centered as possible. And, uh, it's harder to basically center that if you know you're gonna try to come in from the top, you don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and Okay. And I always go back in from the top because after I've gone in through the bottom, and the reason I do that is because we're actually gonna be putting the screw in from the top. The screw threading will come out the end and then into the wing. So that's why we do that. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my, yeah, I'm fortunate to have like just a million Dremels around me. Thanks to some amazing friends and clients and just very, very fortunate. So I do appreciate you guys for everything you do. All right. Let's drop the, uh, drop the speed here. So this is about a one mil and what's going to happen with this guy is we're going to drill in and this is going to make way for our larger peg or for our larger uh, screw basically. I can get you in there. Let me 
sure I'm not going to just chew this thing up. There we go. I just need to be pushed through a little bit. Okay. You'll see we've got just a big old hole through here. And my buddy, uh, Todd Ortiz, he goes by a rectangular. Known him for a very, very long time, man. Probably over a decade. And, uh, he showed me these awesome, really long, uh, that's hilarious. This one doesn't have any threading. <laughs> I could use that for something else. All of these have threading on. These really long, uh, I was going to say with a bunch of threading, this literally has zero threading. That is phenomenal. Okay, there. You see that? Look at this. This one here has no threading at all. And this one has like, it's like this much threading. Um, I might not actually even need to use these. These are a little too long since this is such a smaller job. Uh, I generally would use those that and I use those on almost everything now though, because they're awesome, man. They're, they're so, it's so much threading. And, uh, usually what you get, like you see with these smaller ones that I'm using, I think you get like that much threading. That's not enough. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use them just to, just to do it. I know that these are really strong too. <laughs> That's awesome, Mary Lois. Luke is awesome, man. Look at this. It's freaking this is a really this is a really cool figure. Like, I won't lie. I've got a I've got a good amount of SH figure arts and stuff. I don't have any of the monster arts, and this is really cool to have like like I said, this is such a chunky figure. But the movement's awesome. I love it. Yeah, and you'll notice even in the thumbnail of this YouTube video, uh, Mary Lois actually sent me the photo of this figure, and it was a great photo, so good that I was able to make an, a complete like graphic of like a uh, Ultraman in my color scheme with my mask kicking him in the back, <laughs> and all of his pieces flying off because all the pieces were already off. It was crazy. It was pretty cool. Anyways. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting in the longer, the longer screw. This one's going to be our final one. This one's much stronger. We'll tighten it in like so. And that's basically what we're working with now. So this is going to go right back into the wing. And what we'll do is we'll get the wing ready. And I know it might seem redundant, but this is the way I like to do this is to, we want to be real careful that we stay right in the center here and we don't go too deep. Um, cause we're going to attach this cause we don't want to go through the wing. This is a very, this is delicate plastic as we can tell. Um, so we're going to try to stick here in the center and we're going to go probably about, I'd say an eighth to a quarter inch in. And the reason I start with, like I said, the smaller one is it, it, it essentially like, I don't know if you can see the, probably can't see the hole right there, but uh, uh, probably not. Well, it's in, it's in the center. And what that does is it basically makes a guide for me. So I put the smaller one in because it gives me a lot more real estate to work with. Now I'm going with the bigger one and follow that hole that I've made and it'll guide this along. There we go. You can test to see how far that went in. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. So what are we dealing with? Probably about a, I'd say maybe about a six or seventh of an inch. Now I got this big old hole right here. It's not really that big. It's incredibly tiny. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our screw that's already in here, right? And we're going to kind of work this back a little bit. Just where barely edging out, we're going to take our JB Super Weld, right? And this is the trick. This is why, you know, you don't just glue it. Um, you put the screw in and then the glue in uh, because this is going to give us basically that, that support that we need to... Uh, to keep the figure secure. 
So we're going to put a nice little dab right here. And what that's going to do is we'll be able to go ahead and grip this. And now with all this, that, that glue and adhesive on the threading there, as we go in, it's just going to lace that up for us. We got a pretty good amount right now. I'd say maybe we can, we might even be able to go a little further with this. Okay. And now we're going to take what's left here. We're going to add another drop right on the threading. Okay. We're going to make sure that there's a nice little dot on there to where it also touches that plastic. We want to make sure that at least a little bit is making, t you know, making contact with that plastic because we want that adhesive to be touching this plastic and then to touch this plastic so it adheres those two together while also being coated on the screw. So when the screw goes in, it's also going to connect itself in here. And we can go in nice and snug. See if we can move this just a little bit. I kind of want this to be right around the edge over here. There we go. I think that's pretty good. And if we have to, uh, sometimes whenever you <clears throat> do put a screw in here though, uh, it will potentially widen out this peg and it's not a problem. All you have to do is go in and sand it down just a little bit. So now what we do is we got to wait for this to dry. So while that's drying, we can actually work on our others. So basically what we have to do now is repeat that process two more times because all three of the wings broke. Um, gosh, it's just <laughs> such a tragedy. It's like not just one. No, it had to be all of them, you know, you can't, you, you know, you're going to either go, go big or go home, I guess. That's what Godzilla would do. And a cl clearly, Godzilla won this fight. So we're going to go ahead and go right back through it. I'm going to do this one on here. Let's make sure we catch that. Probably a better idea. You know, it's, it's, here's a good idea. While this is attached to the screw, go ahead and clamp it. <laughs> you can clamp it. And then take the screw out <clears throat> and now we go back in with our bigger drill bit and what i'm doing right there is this plastic and this is all the plastic that gets caught up on the uh the end of the drill bit so i like to make sure that that's all off and these drill these are drilling fairly well you always have to be uh very careful with translucent plastic because you don't know how it's going to react there's a bunch of a uh, bunch of very i don't know they just vary in the consistency and their their rigidity and the fragility and all everything these things uh, it's weird uh, translucent plastic can be pretty incredible it can be pretty durable but nine times out of ten it snaps so you never know how it's gonna react with uh with heat or adhesive or what have you so it's pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and put this in. I'm going to go ahead and go through it one more time just because I'm getting a little tension trying to push this, uh, this screw back in. And I think it's because I haven't uh, gone through the top of it yet. Cause if you're getting too much tension when you're putting that screw in, what will happen is you have the possibility of splitting the peg open which isn't the end of the world because you can actually coat that thing in glue. It's going to take longer to um, dry due to having more of the, you know, the chemical on it. But uh, you can still fix it. It just takes a little longer. And that is my motto is the impossible just takes a little longer. Adapt that for my grandfather and I will continue to do so because that is the truth. Okay. 
All right, now let's see if we can get this guy in. Going from the top once again. It sounds like somebody's like, I can't tell if somebody's hammering and if they are hammering, they're the, they're staying on like incredible rhythm. It's like boom, 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 boom. I'm like, all right. <clears throat> Got like a tool band. Not to, not to be confused with the band tool. All right, let's go ahead and put this in. Perfect. That's what we want. All right. Now let's go ahead and. We're gonna drill our small hole first, and then our big hole. Okay, that's one. That's two. Now we're gonna get our adhesive ready. Grab this guy. Back up the tracks a little bit here. Okay. We'll hold on to this with our wire pliers. There we go. It is music. I think I think it was our mail person. <laughs> I think it was our mail. I think that was music. Wow. That was industrial. All right, <clears throat> so we put ourselves a nice little layer of adhesive on. Like I said, which when we thread this, it's gonna put that in for us. Oh, I went too far, let's back that up. That's, we don't need that much thread. Oh, we can, it's all right, we can do that. All right, cool. And let's add, now that we've laced this with glue, Let's add another drop. This one right here. Like I said before, make sure it's coating not only the threading, but also it's gonna to touch that, make contact with that, that plastic right there, which it's gonna do that more than likely anyway. <clears throat> Once we insert this in, you can start seeing like, as soon as it goes in, it starts kind of pressing the adhesive kind of back out towards us. And what that's doing is it's pushing it uh, onto the plastic and making that, that adherence and that connection. So that's what we want. That's a nice solid, that's a nice solid contact. That's my, my favorite. <clears throat> so a lot of times what happens with these pegs, they don't always break flat off, you know, where you can just sandwich them together, right? You can, uh, you'll see that they're, they're, they're angled. So you've got these two, you know, the break is like this. <clears throat> so if you try to twist something that's like that, it's going to, try to push this up or push that down but sometimes you'll bring right around and be like wow it, it just makes it, 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 it i don't know some, sometimes you just luck out and those two halves just perfectly and uh, that's what just happened here not that it's a big deal but it you know it's just kind of fun <clears throat> yeah <laughs> it can be it's it's not that complicated it's just you know basically you're putting in a Essentially, you're just putting a steel beam through plastic. <laughs> it's, just, it's complicated. It's like, yeah, it's uh, what's funny about it is uh, is is just how small uh, these pieces are because I don't have anything really next to me for. Um, I need to like keep like a penny or a dime up here for uh, for scale wise. But I mean, as you can see right here on this on this cutting board, you know, you're looking at about this is each you know, an eighth, each one of these squares is an eighth of an inch, uh, excuse me, a quarter of an inch. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Fifth of an inch. Good Lord. <laughs> my brain, sorry. My brain just like, yeah, fifth of an inch. So, and that little guy fits right in there. So no, it is a quarter of an inch because these are the lines are, it's small. Let's get back. I did fairly well in math, just so you know. I just today's not not a good speaking day. All right, let's uh let's get back to the repair. That's what's important. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna drill back in through 
the back of this guy. Well, let's do the top one more time. Perfect. And then we'll go in with our larger drill bit. This is our final one. You got away from me there, didn't you? Okay. We'll play games. That's all right. There we go. <clears throat> all right. So this is our last one. Should have another one of these up here. Here we go. Johnny says, what's that glue smell like? Uh, smells like uh, probably chemicals if you get that close to your nose. Do not inhale adhesive and uh, do your best to not get it on your skin. Generally, I would be working with gloves. Uh, I'm just a terrible example today. Um, but the more you come, the more you're, the more you come into contact with adhesive on your skin and the more you, if you inhale it, like if you're using a lot of it and you inhale that, uh, it's not good. It's real bad. It'll make you very sick and you will become allergic to it. So, you know, do your best to <laughs> stay away. You, if you're going to use it, use it in a bigger area, ventilated area. Luckily that's what I've got up here. And, uh, but yeah, if you're going to use it, be very careful with it because it can't, it, it's dangerous stuff. People think they're invincible until they're not. And you can keep yourself safe by uh, using the old noodle up there. So good question, Johnny. All right. So let's go ahead and let's put our, screw through here. This is our last one. We should be off to the races to have this guy done. All right, going in perfectly, perfect tension. That's because these are one millimeter screws. So you know what I mean? <clears throat> one millimeter screw, one, mil one millimeter drill bit. And uh, I wanna say actually these screws might be just a tight uh, bigger, like maybe 1.1 millimeter, which is nice. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the hole that you drill generally is a little smaller than the screw, just so it, make, it makes sense. But some people just, you know, sometimes you don't think about it. Sometimes the most obvious, you know, actions are the ones we don't think about. And you want that hole to be a little smaller. So there's plenty of real estate for that screw to make connection with, for that thread to make connection with, because if it's too big of a hole, you just well, screw go right through it. We don't, we don't want that. So, all right, let's go ahead and do our final wing here. I would say third time's a charm, but so far, all of these have been charming. And that's what I like. <laughs> let's uh, keep going. All right, so I added a little too much super glue on here, adhesive, and what happens, what you wanna do in a situation like this, is I always keep a roll of paper towels nearby. Just rip off a little bit, a little piece right here. And then you get this big bubble right here of it. So you can just simply grab here and it will absorb into that and you toss it in the trash. Done deal. Quick cleanup, less mess. Uh, did I, I haven't drilled the hole in here yet. Let's go and do that real quick. There's one hole, so we're smaller. Let's go for the larger. Perfect. All right, and since we're, I added the glue to this already, but it's okay. It, it can't dry that fast. So, there we go. Just enough, like I said. Cover the threading, make a little contact with the plastic, and then we go in. And what what will also happen <clears throat> is when you add that little little dab on there, is basically it'll fill in any gaps that might have occurred 
when there was a snap. Um, it's basically just like filler. Um, think about um, those, uh, you know, the cement pieces in between bricks. That's what they're there for. They're there to, that, that cement, that liquid, or that, I wouldn't say liquid, but in a less soluble state, is going to fill in those seams, fill in those cracks, and when it hardens, it becomes one piece. It's a, uh, that's, that's just good old fashioned building science. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we've got all of our wings done, what we're gonna wanna do here is, these two are probably ready to go. This one, uh, we just finished, so we'll probably wait on this guy for just a second. So what we'll do is we will take our little cutter here, done with the, done with the drill bits. Set those aside. Now what we're going to need is <clears throat> our sanding bit, which actually I might use this tougher one here. Need a little more grit for what we're about to do. So we'll put our sanding bit over here. And this is something that I just started using, which I feel kind of dumb for just starting to, uh, to, to do this. Um, what does that say? Uh, stupid sandwich said, uh, R.I.P. Kenpachiro Satsuma, the original actor who played 90s Godzilla, Hedorah, and Gigan. Oh, he passed away. Well, then this will be in his honor. Because he gave us, obviously, some really... Could you imagine what... Wow, what the respect for an adult man or woman, just an adult, to have to dress up in this for entertainment. For, and here we are. Here's and look at this. The companies are making extravagant action figures and toys, and this thing is still living on. All for this guy to dress up in a crazy rubber suit, probably like verging on like heat stroke in like just a solid rubber, non-breathable suit. And uh, so you know, big, huge respect to Satsuma. That that's amazing, man. That that's insane. That's so crazy. Oh, sorry, man. And I did see, uh, have I considered toy of the year yet? I am still working on it. That's a big list. A lot of cool stuff came out this year, man. A lot of cool stuff. That is something I do want to deal with this weekend though. <clears throat> okay. So what I'm going to do next is get to this cutter here. And I don't know why it took me this long to use these. Um, it's also pretty cool that I don't have to wear safety glasses now that I wear glasses. Like these, these cover up a good amount. So that's pretty cool. Um, but normally you want to keep, these are like the coolest to me. These are the best safety glasses. They're like wraparounds. They fog up way less and they cover up everything on your face. So this is, these are really great. So always, and they're cheap. These are pretty cool. What brand is this? Bear cat, like Kit Kat, but a bear. So bear cat with a K super cheap. Awesome. Highly recommend save your, save your eyes. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, <clears throat> okay. So we're going to fire this up with our cutter and you want to be really careful here, uh, because what's going to happen is this is going to cut through this steel here, but what it does, it, it doesn't just slice right through it. What's going to happen is it's got to, you know, it's got to work its way through that, which in turn is going to be causing a lot of friction, a lot of heat. This steel is a great conductor for heat and it will still go back into that plastic and reheat up the plastic and the adhesive if you just keep it on it. Okay. So we got to be real careful. Think about putting a pan on a stove. All right. It's going to sit there and just get hotter and hotter if you just lay it on. So we want to be very careful and we want to go around evenly. <clears throat> and generally I'll see, I'll keep my finger like this to keep it steady. Not a good idea because it can conduct heat. You gotta be very careful. I'm gonna do it anyway. Wait a minute. My wife is a genius. Hang on a second. She got me these because she is always worried about my hands because let's face it, when you work with your hands with tools all the time and whatnot, you're gonna get injuries. 
These are actually pretty great. They're these little, little finger covers. And these little things, man, if I remember correctly, because this is the worst. Oops. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're not going to, don't stab your finger with them on purpose, but this right here will definitely wear, you know. All right, sandwich. Well, he said, uh, <clears throat> he's like, you do not want to get hot slag on the acrylic that's used in regular eyewear. That is no bueno. So thanks to my trusty viewers who are always looking out for me. Eyewear it is. So these right here, though, what I can do now, let's see, wait, was I, what was I doing here? Make sure I, oh, it's the bottom finger, sorry, it's the second, it's my ring finger. What I can do is use these right here to get my leverage. I can kind of see that. These things are awesome. Little by little. Little by little. Here we can take that off. I can actually probably use that again. <clears throat> and so what happens now is we've got this piece right here of metal, right? Which is, it's, it's fairly warm. Not enough to burn me, but... Well, then we take our sanding bit, right? And what we want to do here is we sand off. What we want to do is kind of sand around a little bit. Just want to make these nice and round just in case there's any. Sometimes when you clamp them with the, uh, the wire pliers, you can get a few like impressions on them. But what I'm doing right now is I'm sanding off the end of the screw so it's not sharp and so it doesn't catch on the inside of the uh, of the housing and it usually won't take a whole lot I'm at a I'm at a real slow speed right now because I'm just trying to be careful all right that's pretty good. Yeah, if I can run my finger on it, it's not snagging on anything. All right. So this is our, let's get our right wing. I see like a little anomaly right here. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a fan of. See if this works. <clears throat> it might be a little too big right now. What I can do <clears throat> is use my cutter, drop the speed. I'm basically doing just kind of rounding this out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just got to find that perfect, perfect bit. I think this is right. Yeah, this goes out to the side. Try not to. I don't know how much these are actually supposed to move. I do have a vice, yes. <clears throat> so they kind of come out a little bit here. I don't know how much they're supposed to swivel. Um, they do have. This is the range I'm dealing with now. I'm not sure if that's where they're supposed to be. I think that's right. I'm 
Oh, cool. Yeah, I forgot the piece pops out. Make sure here that that's not getting too stuck on there. So yeah, it looks like this uh, pops in the way it's supposed to. And then, the, the like I said, these little pieces right here, these housings, actually, you can see... See if I can get it to do it. They slide out. They slide out just a little bit. I, I don't know. I suppose they're supposed to do that, but either way, it's a solid fit, solid uh, movement, and I was even able to get it like to. I'm trying to see if I can get that to pull out a little bit if it's supposed to. Does anybody know if these are supposed to pull out or not? I don't. I don't know. I don't know if like they're just supposed to pull out just a little bit. Um, but the wings stay in, uh, they're, they're even able to swivel a little bit. Um, there we go. Okay. I think I got it out just now. So yeah. And they, so there's this, you can kind of move it like this if you want. And then you, or you can press it back in. The joints pop out for flying mode. Okay. All right. Well then I think I might need to add a little bit of, a little bit of, thickness to that because I want to make sure that those pop out a little more but we can take our small flathead here let me see if I can't I might have Let's see if I've got a joint around here that's around the same size and maybe we can find a way to because it doesn't look like they pop out too far but we can see if I've got like a rounded rounded piece that maybe I can plug in here to pull that out to see how far because they're in there pretty snug I won't lie uh, let's see if that'll work <clears throat> some flat heads clamp this on see if I can't press this one in here is it too big I'm trying to see if we can't make ourselves a little makeshift tester joint that we can plug in there Because what's the point if he doesn't have flying mode, man? You gotta have all the actions here. It's an action figure, not a staction figure. We don't want a statue. Let's see here. Send this, send this. All right, let's see what we got here. See if we can plug this fella in and see what happens. <clears throat> this is a casted joint, so it's not the strongest. Uh, looks like a piece of it just broke off. Not the figure, this, whatever, this random piece that I'm trying to use here. Well, dang it. <clears throat> I want to see if I can get these things to pop out. Oh, or just use some, hey guys, just use needle nose pliers. Cause that's what they're there for. <laughs> I literally took one try. And uh, so they do, they pop out just a little bit. Okay. Um, so my question to Luke is, do these wings, do these wings just stay in all the time? Are they not meant to come out? So if they're not meant to come out, <clears throat> pardon, what I can do is I can get, obviously I want them to be snug in there, but right now what we're having is like, they're snug enough to stay in, but whenever I try to pull out, uh, pull these out just a little bit for this uh, flying mode, like he's talking about, and I can see what he's saying. They, uh, there's like a, there's like a slight, 
there's like a slight cut to the right on this one to the left on this one i think this one just stays center and uh so yeah i think that just just so they i imagine they go off to the side just a little bit just like that i bet so what i want is for this to actually stay in there and uh the issue i've got right now is that it's kind of coming out a little bit and i don't want that So what I can do is I can make this a little thicker. Cause they were in so well earlier that I actually had to use a, um, you know, as if you caught on the early part of the stream, I had to actually screw a hole into them or drill a hole into them, excuse me. And then put a screw in them and pop them out. Cause right now you can see like, I'm trying to push this in and so it goes in really nice. It's not gonna go, I mean, I can lift them up. I can swingle it around. Yeah, so they only pull out, they don't come off, right. Okay, so if you're, I don't wanna say if you're careful, cause you're not gonna break it, but it's almost like uh, you can pull them out now. Like, so we can, they go in. And now if we grip, grip closer to it and they pop out. I'm imagining though, if you pull too hard, they'll come out. They won't break, but they'll come out. Um, all right, well, we can play with that. I'm happy with that at least, that that's pretty good. Uh, I'm not happy with that at all. <laughs> I want them to, I'll get them to stay in. All right, so what we'll do in that situation, since they stay in, they stay in very well um, until obviously you're trying to pull them out. Uh, it's a pretty, that's a tight fit. I'm not gonna lie, it's a tight fit in there. But what we want is for those to, uh, you know, we want this to be exactly how it's supposed to be. So what I'll do is I'll add a small, and I mean small, layer, very thin layer of adhesive that will go around the edge here of this wing. And we're going to let that, we're going to let that one dry because I'm happy with that one. All that one needs is just a slight mod. And what will happen was once that uh, adhesive drives all the way around the uh, edge, that's going to make it thicker. And then when we pop it in, it's going to be, take a little more force to pop it in. But once we do, it shouldn't come out nearly as easily. Hopefully it won't come out. Um, and that's, that's what we're aiming for. So let's go ahead and move on to the others. Like I said, we got three of these to do. So plenty of work here. So let's go ahead and start on the middle one here. Like I said, we'll we cut. Mm -hmm. we turn this up a little bit. Okay. Making sure that that's not eating up too much. <clears throat> mm hmm Okay. But they got a little heated up, so I'm going to try to pinch that plastic just a little bit all right let's go in and try to round it round this off here so it's nice and smooth once it goes in once again we're going to try to get rid of that pesky sharp piece i feel like this isn't in tight enough there we go Maybe something's going on there. 
There we go. Round this up. It's good to go in at an angle on the top too. So once it does try to plug in, it's it's got that uh, little crease basically, that little that indention on the top. So it goes in like so, pops in on the sides. All right, so I think this is center. Yeah, all right. I think this one might need a little extra too. I might've sanded off a little too much. It'll fit in, but once again, we want this thing to really stick, stick in there. Yeah, that one's a little loose. It's all right though. It's not a problem. Like I said, <clears throat> the impossible just takes a little longer. And usually what kind of happens here too is whenever you're heating up and you're drilling through this plastic, you lose some of that original shape. And sometimes you just got to build back a little bit of it. So it's not a problem at all. Just takes a little more time, a little more work, a little more care. But that's why I do it. All right, and what you can do here, and this is always my one of my favorite tricks, is I'm basically, I wouldn't say sculpting, but I'm kind of sculpting and building with the, the adhesive. You just add a nice little bulb, and sometimes it won't show up as well. Um, you see that, see now we've built a bulb on there. It's completely around. Like there was a little piece that was chewed off on the side, and that's why we saw it pop out. So now once that dries, and like I said, this, this JB Superworld stuff's awesome. Uh, it does, you know, it takes a little longer to dry than your normal adhesive. Um, this isn't a whole lot on here, uh, but it just kind of evened out that other side, which is really cool. Um, it's pretty neat. So we'll leave that there and now we'll go on to the next one. Actually, what we can do with this, since I don't want it, this is the center one. So it doesn't have like that, I don't know, that curve like this guy does here that we can keep that up with. Um, what I like to do is I keep um, one of these guys. Now, this is for basically for a soldering station, but I've got a better one for This is really cheap. Um, the, uh, the other one I use for my soldering station is much better. <laughs> but these are really cool, these little clamps. So you can take a really uh, you know delicate piece of plastic like this, get yourself just a piece of leather, a nice, like real leather is better, but plastic, whatever, just a scrap. And you can, you can pinch it like that. So now we've got this held in there and it, and we'll just throw it on the ground. <laughs> God, my, a clamp held. I can't believe the glue didn't get touched. Whew. Oh man. Exciting. It's live. Uh, if you, so I take these off a lot, honestly. Um, that's why it's doing that. But, and I did say it's cheap. Uh, if you don't like flick it around and try to show it to the camera, uh, basically this right here will hold that for you while the adhesive dries. <laughs> we'll set that over there where I can't touch it anymore. I'm not allowed to do that. Hey, what's up, soul brother? My man, soul brother. Pardon me. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you for showing up guys for if you guys do not follow soul brother or drawn from the soul Please do so on Instagram. He's freaking amazing And I just got to show off something that he did for me if you don't know it by now you should it's probably on the screen Isn't it? Oh, yeah, the 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 little the cool toy canic supreme down below You see that little guy that 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 guy uh, soul brother um, Do that for all the members of the Maruminati tier and my Patreon, I always send one of these out. I thought it was really cool of him to uh, to design that. Um, so, thanks again, man. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah, man. My wife got me this shirt. I think it was on... Um, where'd she get this? It was like, I think Printograph for like maybe 20 bucks, which is pretty cool for like a, you know. But you can't like read the Bill Maru part really well i guess you can in the light but since it's dark text but either way it's cool i like it i like it a lot i don't have a whole lot of like regular sweatshirts so now i kind of want some more all right um and so brother if you want you can link your uh i think you can link your instagram in here i don't care youtube might 
right. <laughs> Hopefully they don't. All right, let's go ahead and get to this final wing cut so we can get to the final stages of this thing. You can, so when, when I'm doing that, you can start seeing like, um, this starts like moving a little bit. If this whole thing's moving, that means it's getting a little real hot in there. Um, and so if you stop and let it cool for a bit, uh, the kind of cool thing is that what's doing is it's, even though you've already put that screw in there, when it's putting that heat through that steel screw and those, those threads that are in there, it's actually heating up that plastic. And when the plastic, then the plastic is forming that that threading it's like a think of how you make cupcakes you know what i mean only we're making the cupcake tin utilizing the cupcake that's probably that's the best analogy i can come up with <laughs> but uh if that made i think that makes sense but you know what i mean we're making that impression and uh, we're making a really good impression on it uh, but once that plastic cools off um because when you heat up plastic it becomes softer and because it's originally in a liquid state but then you also you heat it up it's malleable and then when you cool it off, it hardens in that way. So that's how you make a little impression in there. It's pretty neat. Okay, let's take our sanding bit here. Try to get this little edge off. Let's just take the edge off, guys. In a positive way. There we go. Sand off that edge there. A little bit. I'm gonna make this smooth around the edge. It's looking pretty good. All right. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, th these Dremels. So I, I do a lot of work at my uh, at my grandfather's house during lunch uh, since I work so close to his house, and uh, I'll dremel that, and he loves it. He's he's worked, you know, he's he he's a woodworker and whatnot, and tools don't bother him obviously at all. And uh, <laughs> when my uncle was there though, he was like, he just couldn't, he couldn't with the sound of the drill. He's just like, I can't do this, I can't. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, I'm wondering, is this? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Man, for a second there, I was like, I got the wrong wing. No, I'm good. They only fit one way. Ooh, God, that's such a, this one was so satisfying, it's ridiculous. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling that whenever I go to pull this out, it's going to be the same as that one was a minute ago. So that's okay, though. I mean, we've got the pegs. Mm. it's loose in there it, it's fine when it's against the uh when it's against here it's awesome but that's a really solid uh hold cool it's just slightly loose dang that's really good do you see that pop <laughs> all right that's a really good one cool uh all it needs to be so what's happening there is it just needs a once again just a little adhesive on it and we'll be set I wish they would have, you know, come out right the first time, but you never know how, like I said, as soon as I saw that, I didn't know it was transparent plastic until I pulled these out of the, uh, the back. And as soon as that happened, I was like, Oh God, this is, this could be a nightmare or it could be really easy, but it's, uh, it's neither of those. It's just, this is just a fun repair. It's a good repair. There's a lot of tips here that I'm, uh, that are, that are very, very useful um, when it comes to repairing these figures, this there's, I use almost every one of these uh, techniques 
it feels like uh, generally on Offix, at least one to two of these. And this one has just taken everything. <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. I mean, like, uh, like I said, there's not a, it's not a hard repair. It's just, it takes some time. And while we're waiting now for everything else to dry, I'm pretty sure once everything else dries, that'll be it. Maybe a little bit of shaping. That might be it. But uh, that might that 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 should be pretty good. Now earlier, what we did in here was when we pop this in, it's just it's a little loose. Okay, so now I can show you what to do. Since this is a pretty solid piece right here, what I do in a case like this, if it was too loose, because we had to drill this thing open, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a small dab of glue on here. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it directly in the joint. This is advanced repair, so keep in mind. So what I wanna do right now is I'm gonna keep on moving. This is what we call uh, the, the, the glue trick. What I'm doing is I'm moving that whole piece around in there, okay? And if there are kids watching, don't try this by yourself. And uh, this is not, <laughs> it looks real easy, right? It looks very, very easy. And this is why a lot of my, um, you'll see my edited tutorials on here. They're longer than I'd like. I am a video editor in real life. I realize the importance of the short attention span and how it needs to be. A, if you watch a movie, next time you watch a movie, and sorry if I'm ruining movies for you, I went to film school and all that stuff and they kind of got ruined for me but count out the seconds in between cuts when you see the scene cut cut one two cut one two three cut then go back and watch something like i don't know ghostbusters or the godfather or stuff like that uh if your kid maybe not the godfather yet um uh, but what you'll notice is that we used to have much longer uh attention spans and much longer uh cuts in cinema and you know, it's, so it's interesting to see that stuff nowadays with all that said, which I'm sure I lost half of you. Uh, I like to keep it uncut because I want you to know how important it is to take your time and how long something can take. I, I feel like sometimes, um, with the way TV is and how people are now, and I don't know if this is true and I'd like like Mary Lois might even be able to answer this for me since she is uh, a lawyer is do people understand the fact that when you're watching like a, you know, these crime shows like law and order or, or a CSI and stuff like that. It's like, well, why hasn't the, the, why hasn't the process been done? Like why, why are we still going through this? Why is this, you know, court case still happening? Because every week I watch one and it takes about 45 minutes with commercials. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't think people realize how long things take. Um, and maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm just getting old, <laughs> but I like to make sure that people know what they're getting into. You know, I had a, I, I put up a pretty, um, <clears throat> not proud of it really, but a sarcastic post, uh, on my YouTube because a lot of people hit me up on one of my videos saying, Oh, you didn't show, uh, you know, you didn't show yourself putting the arm in at the end. And all it was, was like, all you had to do was heat it up and pop the arm in. They knew, like I showed you how to take it out the same way to put it back in is you heat it up and pop it in. So I did a video where I'm very sarcastic about it. <laughs> and I'm like, ugh, sorry. <laughs> you know, I was like, this is it pop. So anyways, you, 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 it's learning, I guess, but you have to, you know, show the whole process. People don't like it when you leave anything out. So I don't know if that's a them problem or a me problem, but all I'm saying is be patient, be patient and be kind to people. This is so cool. This like thing like moves in his belly. This is cool. So yeah, like I said, this take this, this process right here takes a little bit longer. Um, and you'll notice that I'm just me wiggling this leg around. It looks probably pretty weird. Um, but it's because this glue you know, it takes a little longer. And what we're doing right now is we're building up essentially a, you know, a, a thicker casing essentially. So when this does go in, we don't 
have as much looseness. And I want to see before I continue if I pop this leg joint back on, if there if this presses on this enough to where it's like. Oh yeah, see, there you go. So that adds adds some tension to it as well. So we'll see, like, can we? I wonder if I can balance this guy while I'm waiting on. God, he's got funky feet, dude. This dude's got some funky feet. They're like, it's like a beak. It's like one toenail. Oh God, could you imagine? Whew. No wonder he don't wear shoes. I don't think I can balance this guy. That would be uh, insanity. That's what his tail's for. Can you imagine like the actor, like that actor we were talking about earlier, trying to stand, like just try to do a kick. That's why they don't kick. There's no way. All right, no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> but yeah, that feels pretty good right there. And I did mention earlier that what I wanted to do was. I, I want to loosen this one up because this right here, I don't know if that can be heard. I think that can be heard. That's scary. I don't like that. And that's one thing if it's going up and down, right? Up and down. But if it's twisting, that's where you're going to run into a big, big issue. That's scary stuff right there. Um, that could cause a break. What it's doing is every time you twist that thing, it's adding more and more tension, more and more tension on that, um, on that piece. And so I'd like to, I think I'd like to just nip that now. Um, cause I don't want this to go back to Luke and him be like, are you serious, dude? I thought you fixed toys. I just came back with a stiff leg. It's like, it's got a cramp in it. So what we can do is we can pull straight out like that. Oh yeah, it's gonna be in this part, definitely. Oh my gosh, that is so tight. Eesh. So what you want to do in a situation like this, because I don't want him, I don't want this to break on him eventually. Is if I can. There we go. You go straight out. Whew. Oh, bye. Okay, so we popped that one out um, just because that's, yeah, that's that's just, that's <laughs> that's begging to break. And since it does have movement in it already, what we'll do is we'll just sand around just a little bit. It's just a little bit, just enough to like kind of... Now I do have some shock oil, but that wears down over time. And also it's greasy and gross and I don't like messing with shock oil. I have some and it, it can help, but it breaks down. And this, you know, once we put this in, we're set. So I, all I did just now was dremel around for just a little bit. Pop it back in. Now that's up and down. What about the twist? Much, much, much better. We'll do one more round. Take it carefully. Like I said, anytime you pop one of these uh, joints out, you want to go straight out or straight in. Never to the side and out. You don't want to try to pop it out like that because what will happen is uh, it'll break or it'll put tension on it that's much better yeah I'm, I'm 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 good with that that's good i'm good with that <laughs> i just don't want like i said i wanted to go back to him and be like it's really cool that this left leg moves but the right leg doesn't you know it's funny too because we you know we pay a lot of <laughs> these are expensive figures they're not cheap um, and for them to, you know, have so many QC issues. And I mean, the, even the cheap figures and the expensive figures, all of them are going to break. You know, this, these are, what does uh, NECA call them? Perishable goods or non-perishable goods or whatever they call them. Um, 
This arm, I'm not too worried about. It's got a little squeak in it, but I think that's good. Yeah, those don't feel bad, though. You can just, I don't know, it's weird. It's like, uh, I think when you work for work with something for so long, you can just feel it. You just know. Uh, I don't know, my grandma taught me this. My grandma taught me how to, like, she, like, check for, you know, like, the best kind of fruits and um, the best kind of bread. You can feel it, and it just has a feel to it. It's me, like me, like an old woman just walking around Walmart squishing bread loaves, but, you know. Maybe somebody won't buy one with a big fingerprint in it because, you know, hey, that one wasn't a good one. And our glue has uh, dried over here in this leg as well. So now we've got a nice leg on him. All right. Hopefully... Let me test. Let's see if this if this glue is dried. Oh yeah, this one feels good. So at least we can try one right now and then we'll see where the other ones lie. Okay, so let's take this. So we can pop it in. I don't know if it popped in or not. Might still be a little. Let's see. Come on. Is it in? Maybe it's in. Ugh, I had like this, such a such a nice pop earlier in now. Or... So now it's coming out better. Uh, I wonder if I could actually I'm trying to make sure that it's it's not stuck. One thing you always want to make sure that it's not doing is whenever you do get it in there. That when you do twist it that you could see that it's twisting and that it's not like trying to pull itself out of the uh of the uh, joint itself i think that's it i think we got it that was a really hard pull i think that's pretty good might have to go back in and do the same thing, but uh, it's like this joint is finicky. It seems like it'll come out if you like, if you, if you're careful about it and you put your kind of fingers right here and you like press in with your finger comes out no problem. But if you just try to grab a hold of the, oh, it pulls out there. Listen to this little. Yeah, a little ASMR. Is that what that that's the the thing? Okay, so I think that I think that wing's good. I think it just had to knock some of the dust off there, or whatever. I'm not saying it was dirty, but you know what I mean. Um. <laughs> all right, let's see. This is our. Okay, this one's still a little sticky, so we don't want to put that one in. Uh, this one I think I had to add a good amount to it, so this might not be. Uh, yeah, that's still got a little stick to it. That's the problem that you run into with whenever you use the super glue trick, like so, is um, unfortunately you got to wait for that glue to dry. This one dried pretty well. Um, we didn't have to add a whole lot to this one. I didn't actually add a whole lot. I didn't add a whole lot to this one either. But uh, I don't know. I just want to make sure that, like I said, once they do go in, they're set. Um, and once this one dried, we were good. It just needed to pop in out once or twice. I think though with the hard enough pull, it's gonna come out. Uh, I think it's supposed to do that anyway. Um, but so far, pretty good. Yeah. I would be, I would just be mindful of it. You're not gonna break it, but you know, if you wanna just have it out and kinda like this. I guess that's wing mode right there. I don't know how far these are actually supposed to like bend over or bend, bend, bend out. Uh, I guess we can go like right about there. You can kind of mess with it though. Now I feel like it's got a little more mobility than it did before, honestly. Um, but yeah, so that's where we are right now. We're kind of, we're kind of stuck, uh, waiting, waiting on the glue to dry. And generally I won't make you guys. Yeah. There's that's still sticky. So, what I can do is put them back in our little holder over here. But what I also can do before I end this stream 
is I can give you a little bonus. Um, and this is something that I just noticed was that, uh, and this one, this is luckily it's this one and not the other one. Um, we've got little pieces broken off here. All right. So what I'm going to do is we'll, uh, we'll go the extra mile here and, uh, I can show you a pretty cool little effort. See, what's the 335 right now? I started at two. I like to usually run these about two hours if I can. So if you're, if you're settled in and you want to see some little bit of simple sculpting, I'll show you that. And then we'll, uh, once probably tomorrow, um, I'll, uh, I'll paint these up and this guy should be set to go. But uh, this is my favorite stuff right here. This is a uh, Procreate Sculpt. It's a, uh, probably can't read it at all, but it's Procreate, one word, P-R-O-C-R-E-A-T-E. And this stuff's amazing. You can buy it on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. It lasts a long time. Uh, this is awesome, man. Uh, this stuff is so cool. So it's a 50-50 compound, uh, or you can do 40-60, and depending, and it shows you right in here, it tells you how to do it. And you've got your, your resin percentage and your hardener. And if you want it to be softer, more flexible, you're going to use 60% of the black hardener and 40% of the white resin. So what that means is we can sculpt these little pieces right here. And even though these ones are really hard right here, we're going to make some that are kind of flexible. So just in case they do get hit, um, they're not gonna snap off like these did, unfortunately. Um, like I said, these have like just a slight bit of give, but not enough. And like I said, I think this thing just got tossed to the side and uh, you know, props, props to Luke for not breaking it. But if you break a toy, you break a toy. I know, I bet you, Luke, that I know way more grown man adults that have broken toys than you have. They've broken way more, trust me. <laughs> and I'm not saying you broke this, but I'm just saying if you do, don't worry about it. You got somebody local who can take care of them. So that's a, that's definitely a promise. So what we'll do here and Josie, don't fill out too. Don't, don't feel left out. You're awesome. I already know this. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and let's fill, or let's, uh, let's put this together. So what you do with this sculpt, this is super easy. You take it and you mix it. This might answer your question. According to WikiHow, to make a quick, easy pizza, preheat your oven to 450 degrees and unroll a pre-made pizza dough. Alexa, please stop. She wanted to tell me how to make a quick and easy pizza. <laughs> so, and sorry if I activated anybody's Echo devices. I sure, I hate that. <laughs> I hate it when YouTubers will pull that stuff. All right, so all you have to do is mix it like so. And since we've got it all mixed, uh, the biggest trick is to always have some water nearby, right here, uh, and some tools. And uh, I think my tools, some of my tools are in the other room. I'm probably not gonna need really much of a tool for this one anyway, because this is just a simple these are like just simple little spikes. They have like a little bit of texture, I think right about here. And we can do that with, let's see what we have over here. I'm gonna take these off now. Put my Googles back on, put my Spanglers on. All right, so I keep, I've got like these little pencil um, holders. You can get it like Walmart or on Amazon for cheap, cheap. And I keep like all my sculpting tools and stuff like that in here. Um, some of my favorites are these right here, the color shapers, and it's the uh, the ink, the British spelling uh, color, C O L O U R shapers. Um, you can find these anywhere, I think. Um, you could probably buy them. The Royal Sovereign Limited from the UK. So, and these are awesome. They're like little silicone tips on them. Uh, which works super well for sculpting because um, they give you that impression and a, a little bit of give. So these are really, really cool. Um, compared to fix it sculpt, man. Uh, I, so the beauty of this stuff is you, it can, uh, when it dries, 
it dries. You can, it's flexible, man. And I'm, when I say flexible, I'm talking like this, like it can, you can, it cures flexible. It's, it's like, I don't know how else to ex explain it. So with Aves, Aves is cool and all. And I, I like the uh, work time on Aves uh, is much longer than this, but for me, I don't do giant um, sculpting projects anymore. So anytime I'm using any kind of sculpting, I only use procreate at this point. Um, I love this stuff so much. So, so, so much. Um, probably not going to answer your question, but what I, what I, if, I, if you're familiar with Aves fix it sculpt, then you should, uh, get some procreate off Amazon. It's probably like 13 to $17, which is, it lasts forever. So use a little bit at a time, you know, have fun with it. Uh, I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest it. I know, uh, what's his name? Um, Mike, Mike De La Paz, uh, Phoenix Force Customs. I hope I'm saying that right. He uses it for all his hair and you could see his hair sculpts are nuts. I mean, you can do whimsical hair and uh, I'll show you a fun little trick here that I'm about to do. So I'm going to take this wire, right? And this is going to be our, basically our little guide. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take a small, one of my small drill bits again. Okay. And we're going to put it in the end here while our sculpt is drying over there. And we're going to make sure that we find just the right spot here. We're going to go in real, real light and careful to the end. Okay. I always want to make sure that I don't just hold it there. I want to make sure that it's going to, in fact, I actually might want to use a smaller drill bit before I go in. I've got a ton of them here just in case. I always like to make sure that I got plenty of options. These guys are tiny, tiny. You can get these on Amazon as well. They're, but honestly, I, I wouldn't go for the bigger companies on these. Go for those tiny companies, those, those, off brands or whatever because these break so easy and i would hate for you to spend a lot of money and for them to break on you um i do link a lot of these the products that i use in my uh, in the discord though the twicanic discord so we got a nice small hole there and i'm talking look at that very, very small. This one's actually going to have to be even tighter, I think. That's always an issue is right there is whenever you got a little end that wants to be a little difficult. And it can bounce that around or whatnot. So you always want to be a little careful. I know it seems very risky with my fingertips right there as well. And it is. So be careful if you're doing any of this. Um, so why did I just drill holes in there? Well, I'll tell you why. We're going to take some of this wire right here. And we're going to go ahead and snip a little bit off. There, we'll use a better, we'll use a better cutter. That was not a real good cutter. Let's do this. There we go. Into the trash. We'll make sure this end fits in here. And this is a fun little trick you can do here. Not only does this basically create a skeleton for you to sculpt on top of, but also with a wire like this, you can actually utilize Procreate. If you were to sculpt all the way over this with Procreate, you could make a whip. And when it dries, you can make it shape however you want it to. You could wrap up that lasso, you can bring it out. I don't know how long, like how many movements you can get from it. So I don't know if you, if you wrapped it all the way up and then unwrapped it and wrapped it. I don't know how well it's going to stick the, uh, you know, stay if it's not going to crack. I'm not sure. I haven't tested it out completely, but you can utilize this stuff here to actually shape how you would want things to shape uh, with just some simple wire, which I think is pretty neat. So what we can do here is uh, we'll take a little bit of our... What I want to do on this end is I'm going to use the ultra gel control uh, just because this stuff dries a little faster. Hopefully it's not blocked up on the end here. 
And if it is, I guess I can go in with this wire. Huh. So what we want to do here is kind of just put a little on there. And we can stick this right here. But I'm not too far away from the camera. Come on, come on. There we go. And since there's a little glob sticking out there, we can, once again, take our paper towel, wipe any excess off. I'm going to keep that just in case we need it one more time. And then, so I'm looking at these shapes here. I can look at these. They're all about the same size. That's pretty cool. And this one kind of bends out a little bit. So we can go ahead and start shaping that. And what I'll do is I'll clip it right about... Let's see, right about here. So that gives us just enough. And I'm going to take this little piece here that we just clipped. We're going to put another little dab on here. Keep in mind, our, our sculpt is still sitting over here. So we need a time to start moving. That's why I'm trying not to use too much glue on this. Because we don't want to get the, the glue and the uh, sculpt all mixed together. Oop, let me make sure that's going to go in. I don't know how far I went in there, but it doesn't feel like it went in that far. I think that'll work. Oh, I still have this. <laughs> and that's why I use the uh, the gel control. This stuff's pretty cool, man. Like, it's just, uh, it's got a little more uh, bend and give to it. So that's always nice. Especially if you're utilizing something uh, <clears throat> this small. And uh, not to mention, if it's going to have this flexible sculpt on it, that can help too. Okay, <clears throat> so we're moving kind of fast here, but so we've already got our sculpt, you know, ready to go. So what we want to do is we want to take off just the smallest bit. It's a little bit goes a long ways here. So what we do is we're going to take it and we're just going to roll it right like this, right? Just simply roll it. And then what we can do is carefully mold it around our wire here. And then we can just start kind of pulling some of this off, right? Because there's just, there's too much on there. We don't want it to be a big fat claw, you know? So we want to just careful, but you do want some of it. It'd be, it'd be nice for some of it to still blend into the uh, plastic, you know, that wasn't broken off, which is where this comes in. You want to keep your tool wet. So I got some water here. Always keep your tool wet. Uh, that way it's not going to stick to your uh, tool. And even so, what you can do, that can get rid of creases, um, seams. If you just rub this little piece right here with a wet tool, you can kind of go over that. And then what you can also do, Kind of dip your fingers in there just a little bit. Don't soak them. Just get them, you know, uh, just enough to where we can coat this here. We can kind of come in like so. And what it'll do is that'll smooth it out as well. Let me bend this up a little bit because we got a wire in there. Okay. Make sure the wire is not going to poke through. And so now, you can see there that we've got, and maybe this will show you a little bit better, um, that we've got a little piece right there. And, you know, once this dries out, if we need to sand it down, we can. But right now, it's looking pretty good. It's got the nice uh, crook on the end there. What That's what we want for it to bend up just like the rest of them right there. And it goes from larger and even if you notice with all of these, they go from like a little smaller to a bump right here where this bone kind of claw thing starts and then they go smoother. So that's what we've done here. We've gone bigger and then it goes smaller right there. So that's what we want. So we're going to do that one more time here. And we've got probably just enough to, the, I bet you, well, maybe this might, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say the part that we pulled off of the other one might be a, a little, might have been enough, but you don't need a whole lot, but you do need enough. 
Uh, this part really broke off though, so we might add a little extra, and if we got to pull some of it off, that's fine. Um, it's missing like the pink part right there, like the, I wouldn't say like the cuticle, but you know, I don't know what that is, the beginning of the barb. <laughs> so let's go ahead and press this down onto the wire. Okay. And just carefully, we're going to try to smooth it out. Also, while you kind of press towards this bit right here, and I haven't wet my fingers yet because I want to have a little bit of grip. Okay. Let's uh, wet our fingers a little bit. Because right now, this one's way too fat. as a fat claw. So what we want to do is kind of pull some of that off and that'll start stretching it a little bit. Okay. We'll give this a pull right here. And so we keep going up and make sure it's rounded while also coming to like a point at the end, a little spiky point. And you also want to make sure that you've taken care of any seams. You don't want any hard seams where that plastic, that was always my biggest issue when I first started out sculpting was I would leave I would leave a seam where the uh, plastic would meet the the sculpt and you know you got to go in and either sand it and which is fine but you know if you can avoid it that'd be that's even better so there we go it's a little little press little press there all right and so now we'll just have to wait a while for I, I usually wait a night for this you can paint it fairly quick honestly but I, I like to wait um, I like to let my stuff set overnight like I said sometimes you gotta the impossible takes just a little longer right all right <coughs> pardon me goodness gracious It looks like this piece right here that broke has got a little splinter on it. So I want to make sure we get rid of that. And we can do that with maneuvering our sculpt over this little bitty piece right there. Perfect. Got him. Okay, cool. Um, press that in just a little bit. Looks like I can see the wire right there, so I'm going to I bent it a little too much. That's the cool thing about this sculpt, though, is like if you mess up, you can just keep going with it and retry. So then we've got bada bing. And now once that's dry, like I said, we can paint over it. Um, probably stupid to try this as these are drying, <clears throat> but it looks like our wing is dry here as well. Let's see what happens if we look at that pop. So now we're in fly mode, right? He's looking fly in fly mode. All right. So that's two wings. <clears throat> well, I guess what one in one and one and uh, eight tenths done. We got to knock, you know, we still got to paint these now, but, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, she, she didn't ask me to do that. She didn't ask me to sculpt these on. I, I did that because, because <clears throat> we got to, <clears throat> we got to fix the figure, man. Come on. Um, yeah, I think we're almost done with this right here as well. Let me see. Ah, man, that middle, that middle wing is still a little sticky. So unfortunately, we have to wait on that one, and uh, we could probably we could probably call this one a night uh, right here. I'm gonna pop this thing back in though. There we go. Oh wait, his tail. This thing just these really pop apart. I've, I've messed with a figure not too long ago that these they popped apart pretty easy like this too. Oh, this is top, this is top, 
which is top. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> There's a shape. It fits the shape on the bottom. Okay, let's pop this in. God, without cutting your finger. Golly, this thing is. This thing is sharp. There we go. <clears throat> wow, this is a sharp toy. Not even a toy, man. I don't know. This this transcends toys. Let's go ahead and hold it by the tail. Let's pop that guy right there on, and bam. He's standing again. Like I said, we just got to wait for that one uh, wing right there to, to dry in the super glue. Once that dries, we'll pop it on. It'll act just like these two. Like I said, I'm very happy with the way these are working right now. And uh, I'll go in and uh, paint all these little pieces that we did right here with the sculpt. And what I might do here is you could take like a small flathead screwdriver. Like I said, there is a little bit of texture on these bits right there. So we can kind of, you can wet this and it, you could probably use a tool if you wanted to. But what I do is I go in with like just the simple edge right here and just tap, tap, tap. And it adds just a nice little subtle texture to where these, uh, right where these nasty claws come out or barbs come out of the, uh, of the uh, wings. I don't even know what he is. He's like some kind of lizard Demetrodon mix. Something crazy. These big old crazy metal hands and those Godzilla movies are nuts, dude. <laughs> I heard the new one's really good too. I heard that new Godzilla movie's awesome. My buddy said it was really good. I think they've been doing a pretty cool job with those new ones, so. So we'll just go in just a little bit here. A little bit of texture, and I think we'll call it a night. I do have more repairs, but I gotta. I don't want to keep you guys all day, and it's uh, rounding out to the four o'clock hour here pretty pretty soon. We got about three minutes, <clears throat> so pretty cool. Um, I do want to throw out a giant thank you to to Mary Lois uh, to Luke. And to Josie, so thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, it's really cool of y'all to watch. I hope uh, hope this was not too scary and nerve wracking for you to watch. Uh, he's Geigen will be. I'm pretty sure he'll be ready to go home next week and uh, go into some more battles, or at least just get posed up and look pretty um, with his wings and his leg intact, because he needed some work done for sure. He was uh, he was just a ticking time bomb, just ready to go. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the way this, re this repair turned out so far. Um, like I said, just going to take a little time. I always hate it whenever I got to end a stream and it's not complete, complete. You know, you always want to see the full thing, but we're close, you know, just got one more wing and that thing is sticky. It won't stop. <laughs> Luke, you're very welcome. <clears throat> Thank you for trusting me to to fix your figure. This is that's very cool of you. Um, uh, it's not hard or it's not easy to do to send something that you you like so much uh, off to somebody. But uh, luckily, just know that your mom is a very good, very good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, better than trying watching his parents try to fix it. I imagine so. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of my friends have kids and so I will, I will be there for them, uh, to, f to fix their stuff when they break because they do, they definitely do. They break. <laughs> oh, no, we're not going to talk about Spider-Man and the sweatpants scenario. That was terrible. That was terrible. Okay. Well, uh, I hope all you guys have a happy holidays and I hope you enjoyed this stream. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to like i said jump back into it i'm probably gonna put up a poll to see what days work for you guys <clears throat> best i mean honestly for me i work monday through friday so coming home and doing a stream is not exact I, like i love you guys and but it's sometimes it's a little much um so the weekends are a fun time to do a stream um i've always got work coming in so i'm trying to see what what's the length what's the time uh, what, where's my motivation at? Um, I do want to do a top 10 video. I don't think I'm going to do a top 10 figures exactly. I think I'm going to try something different. So we're looking into that in the discord. If you guys are in the discord, please, please join in. <clears throat> um, there's also a Patreon. 
I know I don't do a whole lot on there. It's just basically it helps fund the uh, the this th like basically buying stuff like this, buying all the products and the, and the stuff like that. That's what the Patreon's there for. Uh, sometimes it sounds like begging to me. I really hate sometimes throwing it out there, but I do offer some stickers. I'm, I've got some plans coming up with a bunch of really cool people that I work with that we're going to do some Patreon exclusive stuff, at least timed exclusive or interactive exclusive stuff. Um, <clears throat> so that's where we are right now. The, uh, the web address is down below patreon.com slash Bill Maru. If not, uh, just know you'll always be able to find free videos on YouTube, uh, more tutorials coming up, more live streams like this. Hopefully, uh, hopefully a lot more. Uh, I really look forward to, to interacting with you people more and throwing that positivity out there. And, uh, it's always really fun. Anyways, I'll stop blabbing. It's four o'clock. Oh, it's four Oh one. Uh, I do want to say a big special thank you to write down here to my awesome, awesome patrons, my man Esteban Barraza, otherwise known as the Nacho, or as I call him, Ez, because he is so special to me. Uh, Maximo Juarez, you want to talk about trust? That guy sent me the most expensive figure. That figure that he sent me is worth a car. Yeesh. So Maximo, big props to you. Jumpgate Customs, my man Creeper Creations, Jay, Chrisman, Gerwal, one of my, he's my newest. He's here right now. Thank you, Gerwal. I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, let me know how to say your name because I hate when I mispronounce somebody's name. Brian C. Williams, Samurai Chris, please come back to the internet. I miss you. And of course, the always amazing Dave Wonder. Uh, who you can catch me on his streams throughout the week, sometimes on uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays on Chop and Shop and Grippin' and Rippin'. <clears throat> As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I want you to always take care of each other out there, be nice to each other, and remember that the impossible just takes a little longer. I'll see y'all later. Thanks. <laughs>